Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we will paint Leona's head and crown. Without further ado, let's get to painting. Starting with the skin, we will apply two thin layers of Bagman's glue. We will proceed with iron hand steel and paint the headband and the neck armor. Making a one-to-one -one mix of Abaddon Black and Screamer Pink, we will paint the windows on the neck armor. Once everything is dry, we will wash the neck armor with Noln Oil. Using Mephiston Red, we will paint the interior of the headband. While waiting for the red to dry, we will paint the epidermis with KDN Flesh Tone. We will now wash the headband with Noln Oil. The eyebrows will be painted with a thin layer of Zandri Dust. With Abaddon Black, we will carefully paint the eyelashes. I have added a bit of whitewash in the eye sockets in order to check the eye expansion. It is nothing to worry about if you don't want to do it. Using Corex White, we will paint the sclera of the eyes. We will paint over the dark red of the headband with Evil Sun Scarlet. Try not to go too close to the edges. Staying on the headband, with Iron Hand Steel we will do edge highlights. Now we will layer some of the edge highlights with Storm Host Silver. For the irises, we will use a 3 to 1 mix of Aberland Sunset and Abaddon Black. As it is a small gap to paint in, take all the time you need. The pupils will be done with Abaddon Black. Time to highlight the skin. Making a one-to-one -one mix of Cadian Flesh Tone and Kisla Flesh, we will paint the nose bridge as well as the cheekbones and the areas near them. We will do a second highlight on the skin with pure Kisla Flesh. Again, our targets are the cheekbones and the nose bridge, this time taking less area than the previous highlight. Finally, with Mephiston Red, we will paint the lips. As the area is weird, you may overpaint it. Fix all areas painted outside of the lips with KDN Flesh Tone. We will now move to the hair. With Zandri Dust, we shall paint the entire piece. With the belly of a small brush, we will make highlights on the hair with Ushapti Bow. Take all the time you need and go through the entire piece. Don't worry too much if you paint in the recesses as we will shade it later. In order to bring the colors together, we will wash the entire piece with a one-to-one -one mix of Skeleton Horde and Lamian Medium. Once the piss is dry, we will thin down a bit of Ushapti Bone with Lamian Medium and go over the highlights again, this time picking the most raised ones. We will do a second highlight over the same area with Pallid Witch Flesh thin down with Lamian Medium. With a 2 to 1 mix of Seraphim Sepia and Lamian Medium, 
we will do a second color blending. We will use the mix as a glaze and paint over the entire piece. Once the glaze has dried, we will do a second layer of highlights with pallid witch flesh. This time only at the front and most raised areas. Let's finish the project with a crown. Using iron hand steel, we will paint the entire piece. As customary, we will shade the crown with known oil. Once the shade has fully dried, we will do highlights of the edges and the most raised areas with iron hand steel. Finally, we will make a second layer of the previous highlights with storm host silver. This is the result of our wonderful work. All colors used in this video are on your screen now. This was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.